Hi friends, it's Liz here. So today I have another unboxing for your creative studio. This box recently came in and it is the March subscription box. So for some reason, I didn't get boxes for about three months and then all of a sudden they came in all at once. So I guess that's what's happening still with our post um, office and you know mail across the world so not a big deal they arrived which is great um, so um, in this unboxing I'm just going to show you what was included in this kit and then I'll just show you a quick project with some of the items that were in it I'm having so much fun right now just um, getting little bits of mail together to send out in swaps and um, you know to share with friends etc um, I also have um, a giveaway right now on my channel so if you haven't seen that I will link that video in the description box below so you could check it out um, and I thought I would add another little touch to that if you are a person that watches my channel often and if you are one of my subscribers then by leaving a comment under this video you're also going to get some extra entries to the giveaway. I think that's just an extra little way for me to say thank you to those that actually, um, you know, comment um, on my videos, actually interact with me and, um, you know, watch what I put out. So it's not just the people that, um, you know, want to enter a giveaway once every time I post it. It's for those of you that actually are part of my channel and part of my journey and have been with me for a long time or are actually um, you know enjoying my videos and um, you let me know so I really appreciate that okay so you've seen the pieces that I have shown you so far this one also includes many many stickers these ones are really really cute and I like that they have this really vintage feel to them um, they are those um, I guess they're like washi um, stickers because when you put them on you kind of see right through them which is really nice um, it also included the washi tape and some of those little paper pads that are really nice um, that Amanda puts in her kits now I do have several unboxings for um, this subscription box for your creative studio I love every single one of them and I'm always inspired by the items that Amanda includes in the kits. There are many items that are specifically to um, made to um, include in the boxes that are for um, her shop only and those you see that she actually puts um, labels on them that say your creative studio on them. The other pieces are elements that I'm sure you could find if you scour the internet for items, but she includes everything together. And I think it's just so nice because you don't have to, you know, go around searching for ephemera pieces. They all come in one nice pack that you can use in your creative work. This one looks really cute. I think they're all stickers, even the one that looks like a giant mason jar. And these florals are beautiful. So they're really large and it's just a really nice, um, um, you know, many pieces actually. There's quite a few in there. And they're the, I think they're the largest ones I have seen so far um, that are included in the kit. So look how beautiful they look. So I'm really enjoying seeing these here. The other thing I wanted to mention is um, I will be making, I guess, a few videos. Um, I'm trying to decide my next journal that I'll be using. I recently posted a flip through of my most recently completed junk journal, and I've just been trying to decide, you know, what size to use next. So you'll probably see that coming soon. I'll probably add a few, um, you know, journaling um, uh, pages to that. This is really nice vellum pieces and there's just so many of them. They look like little labels. I like that. Um, it's just a, a terrible, you can tear this away and just use it separately. And this is a really nice um, piece to add. I think I might be using this in a few other projects, but I'll, I'll, I'm thinking about what I'll be doing with that. Um, another one of those really nice um, little paper pads. And this one has those um, cute little wax, uh, fake wax seals, which I really like. 
and then there's um, what looks to be more paper and this these little mason jars which are really cute so these are your creative studio um, exclusive and then she's included some additional paper pieces as well I wanted to ask you are you a stationary lover like I am I have always loved stationary I am addicted to it and I just really really love the inspiration that I get from looking at you know different pieces this stamp is one of my favorites right now and I can't wait to use it um, don't forget to check out um, your creative studio the link below I will leave it so you can check out her shop okay so I'm going to show you what I've done with some of the pieces but I also um, just wanted to mention something so these little mason jars, they are adorable. There's like a texture to them. You probably, you might be able to see it um, or not, but they do feel like there's, I don't know, it's just a really nice, almost like a, a paper bag texture. Can you hear it? So it's really cute. When I was actually like holding them, I thought, what a cute little set of mason jars. Okay, and then the other thing I wanted to show you this um stamp prints out so beautifully i absolutely love it so you've got you know different directions that you could you know add this to your projects and you can also cut it up of course and i like stamping these things out so i like using the stamps and sending them to friends um especially if they don't have the same sets that i'm that I'm using and then one thing that I did need to mention about these ones and I don't know if Amanda has heard this or not but you can't really take the plastic off it starts to rip apart so I had such a difficult time and this is with every single one of these you can't remove the backing which would help it stick to your acrylic so what I actually ended up doing is just um I'm just going to flip this over to show you what I ended up doing is I ended up you know inking it putting it where I wanted and then grabbing my acrylic um, square and then just actually um, pressing it down and that's the only way that I could actually get to use these so you know not really happy with what happened because then it limits how you can use these especially if you're not I'm used to having the acrylics or um, if you've got like smaller ones that wouldn't you know fit the sizes so anyways I I thought I would mention that about those okay so now back to the project um, and what I did oh and I also did want to mention um, don't forget to enter my giveaway I'll have all the details in the description box below and on my blog um, so I wanted to do another one of these really cute um, I think they're called tuxedo um folios and i'm not really sure the video that i show you how to make them i don't remember where i got the inspiration but it was not my idea however i love how it came out so let me show you what i've done and i will also link that um video below if you wanted to see how these are made super fun and easy i made this one slightly different um and if the video doesn't go too long, I'll show you how I, I quickly made it. So the first thing I did is I used some of the elements, of course, that came in the kit. And I just uh, made sure to add them to the little pocket that I made. Oh, the other thing I did have to mention, this is a printable from Digital Collage Club. And I, I think I mentioned that I'm in love with these sets right now. So that's what I used to make this. And this is another piece of it that I've been playing around with. I just of course cut it off but I love the different collages that Tina has done because you can use this like if I cut this up it could be washi tape you know you can punch out the numbers etc so there's a I think there's about eight pages in this I'm not sure I'll link that below and don't forget to use the coupon code if you're purchasing anything um, because she does have a coupon code as well for um, those of you interested okay back to the your creative studio box so some of the elements I added to the little pocket. I made the actual little um, tuxedo uh, flip out thing with one sheet of paper, which is really nice. Here, I did add some of the elements again from, you know, the pieces that came. So um, that there, and then I added some of the little 
the little flower there. And then I made a tiny little tag with um, adding the washi. So that's the tag. And I just added a little bit of the washi tape to that. And then you open it up. And so here you've got another little pocket. You could write a little note to your friend there. I did add one of the stamped pieces. Again, some more of the stickers. I think it's always nice to include stickers in um, mail that you send to your friends because it's always something you can use, right? Now the inside pocket, um, I did add this sticker that came and I love it because it's like a French, um, French uh, theme there. And then, of course, you know, playing around with the pieces, I was just cutting them up. Not sure what I was going to use, so I included them in the little, uh, one of the little envelopes that came holding these. Because I like to repurpose, so I thought that was really cute. And I love that it already looks all like, you know, used up because, of course, I was opening it. And then on this side, um, I added, am I still in frame? Let me just check. I am. So on this side, I added um, just more stamped pieces. And I wanted to show you how beautiful they actually come out. I love the flowers and then you've got the mason jars and again I showed you how I had to stamp them because you couldn't really attach them to the acrylic block so aren't they just beautiful okay so I added those I made another tag using some of the um the paper and of course another one of the little washi tape um in the of the mason jars and then for the center pocket I did a collage, again, using a uh, part of the digital kit. I used one of those giant stickers that it came with. You saw them, the flowers. And then, of course, I cut up the little um, part of one of these labels. I forgot where it came from. One of them. <laughs> it came from one of them. And um, I just kind of, you know, cut around it and added it to, to that. Oh, where is that? I have it. I just wanted to... Make sure that I know where I put it. Give me a moment. Anyways, I hope that um, that you've enjoyed seeing what I created. Like I said, I did, um, this is the one I was talking about. So I did um, show previously how to make this uh, folio flip. And I'm just, I'm loving it. So it's just such a nice little pack that you can send to a friend. And it's just so, so fun to make them. So I will link that video below if you haven't seen it. Um, and uh, as always, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to enter my giveaway. Uh, if you leave a comment below and you've entered my giveaway, that gives you an extra entry in my giveaway. So those of you watching will get an extra entry if you leave a comment below. And, um, you know, leave any comment. Just say something and I'll double check that your name is um, in the giveaway. Just let me know if you've entered and um, that'll make it easier. Okay. Thanks so much. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by.